Hi, welcome to another episode of Roof and Right with Dave and Wally. Obviously, I'm Wally, and, and you are. I'm Dave. I'm the fun one. So, what are we going to talk about today, Dave? Well, first of all, I love this deck. Yeah. So we're I here in lovely this. Pennsylvania. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Brand new test deck. Yeah. Anyway, what are we doing? We're talking about taper. Perfect. Different ways to lay up a taper. Okay. So what we have here is, is our traditional way, guys. Are we've done it since? Yeah. Since forever, you lay your base layer in, come lay your tapered on top. Yeah. Which is fine and dandy. Yeah. But what are the problems, some of the problems you run into? More fasteners. Right. Because you have your four by fours on top instead of a four by eight. Four by eight on top. Right. And sometimes we talk about this to guys that have been doing this for a long time. You say, there's another way to do it. And you think, well, how, how else you can do it? We're, we're going to talk about <laughs> later, right? Right. So what's the other issue? I mean, we're going from what? Roughly eight inches high down there oh my to gosh. three or four? Yeah. So well, screws. Right. So you'll probably have, what, a four down here? Four inch. Well, obviously, and an eight, eight up there, right. And you have to adjust in between. How many times you've been on a roof, guys don't want to take the time. They, yeah. they got the same size screw and they're putting it in. Well, right. you got basically nothing holding your roof on. This is true. Yeah, or your insulation. And how many inspections have we done seeing that? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And the other th issue is on the screw size, how much thread do you actually have on a screw? Four. Four to four and a half inches. The rest is shank. And if you go too far, not have enough thread, you're into, you're into the shank. You basically got nothing holding it on. Right. Or you so, go through the drop ceiling. Right. Exactly. So let's kind of maybe lift this up and kind of talk about what we have here. So we have our base layer, mm -hmm. which is what, 2.6. And now we have an X panel. It goes from a half, half inch to an inch and a half. half. Right. We're going inch and a half to two and a half. Then Too we wide. have a filler. Mm -hmm. And we're back to a half inch to inch and a half, inch and a half to two and a half. Right. Make sure we got a nice taper. Perfect. And also we got, you know, we're staggering off our off our base layer. Mm -hmm. Make sure we got the stagger in there. I mean, it's pretty simple. It is. I mean, been doing it forever. Now, talking about fasteners. So again, we have four by four boards. Mm -hmm. So how many fasteners do I need in each one of these boards, Dave? Four. Four per board, right? Mm-hmm. In six inches from the edge, always. So somebody could do the math, depending on the size of your job, you're using a lot more fasteners than you really need to in well, a situation like that. Big end, there's nothing wrong with this. No, no. I mean, you are you have eight for 32 square foot, right? You do the math. Yeah, that's, that's hang on. Okay, I'm right. Yeah. You have eight. If you use a 2.0 or bigger four by eight, you have five. Five. So that's... Eight from five, that's three more Ready for this? Extrapolate that out over a big job. It's just, I well, I can't do that, but it, you're you're losing three. So. And then if you're doing, you know, another option, do a low-rise foam attachment. I mean, there's all kinds of ways to to, to attach this to a building. So this is right. a standard mechanical right. attached system, yeah. kind of what we're talking the, about. The, the advantage of low-rise foam is it is faster. Right. But doing that, you have to, you have to again, account for, if I'm low-rise foam into the deck, I have to do a low-rise foam that, the low-rise foam this piece, mm -hmm. This piece, now I have two layers here. I have to low rise foam my fill and then my tapered and the same thing. Yeah, it's Something a lot of low rise foam. You always got to think about. Yeah. Right. So, Dave, we so talked wallet. about this being a mechanically attached system. What if right. this were an adhered system? Well, if this were an adhered system, you'd have to get your calculator out. Because you'd be adding a lot more fast. Oh, my gosh, yes. It'd just say a four by eight piece and a corner could be up to, Thir depending on the thickness of the insulation, could be up to 32, right? Oh, yeah. Absolutely. So again, you're you're right. using a lot of plates, and you can gang fasten this. Yeah. You're supposed to gang fasten it. Yeah, so, so you don't do every layer. Yeah, you, you just go through the top and be done with it. You might have to put a couple just to hold the bottom layer in place. Right, and come back and gang screw through everything from the top. Yeah, another option, you know, a lot of guys do induction welding. Yes. So Ooh. and you putting those plates in a certain grid pattern. Right. And if you put your tapered on top, you got one or two choices: mm -hmm. either switch out your plates, which most people don't. Right. They use the induction plate, which you're wasting a lot, which are fairly expensive, mm -hmm. versus a standard plate. Correct. And it throws your pattern way off. Well, and then too, if you're using a standard plate, you want to use plastic. Yeah. Because you don't want metal in there. Or a different shape work. or something. Something, yeah. Because if that induction machine finds that standard metal plate, what's going to do to your machine? Well, it's going to find it and it's going to burn it. Yeah. Could find it, could mess up your machine. Right. What do we have? JF has in one of our offices that it can actually figure out a tapered system for you. We have tapered design. Yeah. Yeah. So you send a drawing in. Mm -hmm. Now it has to be pretty accurate, correct? Well, <laughs> they can only make what you send. Yeah, don't brought a, draw, a bar napkin and send it in. No, probably not, no. So whatever your drawing is, they're going to give you a map of how this mm -hmm. taper is going to get laid out. A side view, the map, yeah. the whole nine How it lays in. Yeah. Makes it pretty simple. Yeah. So Dave, we talked about this option. Right. So now we can show them another option where we actually 
put the taper on the deck and cover it with our full sheets. Right. Which you'll see is going to save a lot of, a lot of work a lot of fasteners. Absolutely. And then some people ask, well, it won't drain. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it will drain. So Dave, we showed everybody kind of the traditional way everybody does taper. We're gonna show another option here, which I'm sure some guys out there are doing. Some guys have never thought about doing this. Right. So we're gonna actually bury the taper. So we kind of look here, this is what we have here. We have our tapered system. Again, we have our yep. half inch, inch and a half, inch and a half to two and a half. And then we have our fill in and then our tapered on top. Now in the real world, we got perfect conditions here. Mm -hmm. um, we really don't have to screw these down because we're gonna bring our 2.6, four by eight put on top. Right. In the real world, you might have put a couple of winds blowing. You might yeah. just put a couple just to hold these in place. Mm -hmm. There's absolutely no reason to screw these down because we can gang screw this. Right. So once our tapered is buried, mm -hmm. now we can come in with our final layer of insulation. Okay. So you're breaking the stagger with that one? Yep, breaking the stagger. Now, how many fasteners do we need in these boards? So because it's over 2.0, you need five per. Five so, for eight foot board. Right, so that would be 10 and then two in your starter. So two or four in my half here. Two because it's a two footer. So we just need one on each side, right? Right. Right. So I don't need to put four in here, I just need two. Yeah. Don't you like these little marks? Yeah, those are nice. Tells you exactly Different where they place. go. Did you get one in the middle? Yes, sir. Okay. So again, if you look over our shoulder, we have four per four by four board and we have five per four by eight board. It doesn't seem like much here in a little mock-up. We no. you know, understand that. It. it looks pretty simple. Yeah. But on a big size job, this is going to add up really, really quick. Real quick. Plus the labor. Yeah. That's the whole thing. Yeah. What's the worst part of installing a mechanically attached system? And you ask anybody out there is putting screws in. Yeah. And if you have somebody who can do screws. Yeah. Wow. Exactly. So check out all our videos at GIF.com slash roofing it right.